Hi, Bob Katz. I'm Texas State University President Kelly Damphis, and I can't believe that Thanksgiving is right around the corner. This is a season to show our gratitude, so in this month's episode of The Current, I want to honor and thank all the veterans in our community. We are so proud of our veterans and military service men and women, and we're humbled by their courage and commitment to protect and serve our nation. Texas State is consistently one of the top universities in the state for enrolling veterans, their spouses, and their children. It's a privilege to serve so many of America's heroes. Texas State has been nationally ranked for providing veteran support programs and for being a military-friendly institution. We recently received our second consecutive gold award from the Texas Veterans Commission, and last week we held Veterans Day commemorations on both our San Marcos and Round Rock campuses. Today I'm in Derrick Hall on the San Marcos campus, which houses our Department of Aerospace Studies and Air Force ROTC program. We also have a tremendous Army ROTC program in our Department of Military Science. I'm happy to be joined today by the president of the Veterans Alliance of Texas State, Jimmy Sellers. Jimmy, it's great to have you here. You and I actually met at a tailgate recently for the VATS uh, program. I got a chance to meet you and your fellow students. It's great to have you here on the video. Thank you. It's an honor to be here and uh, talk about the Veterans Alliance of Texas State. Absolutely. Why don't you just start off by telling us a little bit about yourself first. Like I know you served both in the Marines and the Army, but tell us your story about how you got to Texas State. I actually have uh, 25 years of active military service uh, to this country. Um, I'm from a small town in Oklahoma originally. Uh, I joined the Marine Corps right out of high school and spent six years in the Marines. Uh, deployed to Desert Shield, Desert Storm. After I got out of the Marine Corps, uh, you know, I decided to want to use my veterans benefits to go to college and uh, I attended the University of Texas at Arlington. After graduating from UTA, I uh, decided to join the Army. I joined the Army with the intention of going to uh, Special Forces or what most people refer to as the Green Berets. I served for almost uh, nine years in 5th Special Forces Group. After retiring from the Army, I was sort of looking for something else to do, a second career. I mean, I really didn't feel old enough to sit on my porch in a rocking chair <laughs> the rest yeah. of my life. And uh, I, I earned a, uh, another bachelor's degree online in anthropology, and I started looking at archaeology, and I realized I wanted to be an archaeologist. It combines two of my favorite things, being in the outdoors and history. I looked at some colleges here in the great state of Texas that uh, had uh, master's programs in archaeology and Texas State really stood out to me. Well, thanks so much for your service to our country, but also thanks for your service to our university because you serve as the president of VATS. And so yes. <laughs> tell us a little bit about some of the things you all do. I know you mentioned something about the social aspect of that, but it's really a chance for uh, veterans here at Texas State to get together you know, share war stories, share camaraderie, and just help each other out. We also do charity work. Uh, we've done food drives in VATS. Uh, we uh, operate a food locker here at Texas State for uh, not, not just members of VATS, but it could be non-members who maybe need a little help. We do the uh, tailgate parties. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to have a tailgate party for every home game. What inspires you to become the leader of this group? I mean, it'd be pretty easy as a grad student. You've got a lot of work already. You're working on your master's thesis right now. Uh, it'd pre be pretty easy to kind of take a step back and let someone else lead, but why are you wanting to lead this group? Well, it's funny you say that because uh, most of the, the time that I was in VATS, I did kind of take a step back and let, you know, some of the younger military veteran students, you know, fill those leadership roles. Everybody was just sort of saying, you know, oh, with all your military experience and your experience in the Green Berets, you know, we really need your leadership ability in this organization. So I volunteered to be the vice president. Our president at the time. I was lucky enough to earn an uh, internship with uh, Microsoft. He had to step down as president and go do that internship and I had to s step in and fill in the, uh, the office of president for him. I think that's it's really interesting that we have a program like this for veterans coming back because I think it's such a challenge for veterans who have been in the field, uh, involved in battle, and then coming back to civilian life can be very challenging. Coming back to the class, classroom atmosphere can be difficult as well. Can, what, is, what is some advice you have for some veteran students who are returning to college in general, but Texas State in particular? That's a great question. Uh, and I know the Department of Defense has done a lot of studies on this. You know, how can we get our veterans to earn you know, college degrees? And there's a lot of organizations set up to help you know, veterans earn their college degrees. And uh, I think that the veterans have a, a unique uh, position in which they've, you know, developed a lot of self-discipline and discipline while, you know, performing their military duties that really helps them in college. You know, we try to do all we can, you know, to help out the members of VATS. It's nice to have organizations like VATS that help students make that transition uh, back to college. And it's also good for our students who are not 
uh, veterans to see our veterans on campus. It's nice to have non-traditional students in the classroom. The experience that you bring to the classroom to our campus is also great as well. You're providing great service to our community and uh, onto our campus and in addition to the service you provide for our country. So thanks so much, Jimmy, for being here. Oh, it's great you, touching base with you again, yes. hearing about all the great things happening in VATS. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. Bobcats, I wish you and your loved ones a very happy Thanksgiving. As always, it's a great day to be a Bobcat. States up, everyone.